Well, hey there, Freedom Church, and uh, glad to have all of you joining us again today for our Bible study, and so glad to have you along for the ride. As always, um, you can put your prayer request into the comments section, and uh, we'd love to be able to pray for you. Um, and then also, if you have any questions, any, any just, I, hey, what's going on here in the scripture? Um, this is a Bible study together, so feel free to ask questions, and then of course, um, share this uh, video with your friends and uh, invite them to come along and join us um, every day for our Bible study. We'll it, it'll go live at noon, but a lot of you, most of you, actually watch it after the noon hour, and so they can always go and share it and have them watch it as well. We are in Acts. Um, we're in the thirteenth chapter of Acts, and uh, we looked at the first uh, three verses, or really just the first, uh, yeah, first three verses of Acts chapter thirteen. Um, on Tuesday, and so today we are looking at Acts chapter 13, starting in verse 4. And uh, we just saw in the first couple of verses just this leadership team that is going to uh, pray for, anoint, and empower, and send out commission. Uh, it might be a churchy word that we would use, or um, ordain uh, might be one that we would hear use, the Paul and Barnabas for their missionary journeys. And we saw that the diversity of thought and diversity of skin color, diversity of, uh, of race that was in those leaderships and, we, and leadership crew, and we thought that was pretty cool. So now, Acts chapter 13, verse 4 says, So Barnabas and Saul were sent out by Holy Spirit. Now, this is something that's so important to remember. Um, I, I talk about this often with our staff. I talk about this um, often with other pastors, and I remind myself of this all the time, is that um, though I may be um, uh, paid by the church, an organization, to do my job, uh, though we may hire and we have an HR department and we hire people and all of those things and we have staff and we have, uh, you know, um, training for our staff or maybe they're part of our dream team, which is what we call our volunteers here at Freedom Church or um, whatever capacity it is that we serve in, that we may have human interaction in our calling, but our calling is from God and from Holy Spirit. So Paul and Barnabas were sent out by Holy Spirit. They weren't sent out by the church. They weren't sent out by these leaders. They were prayed for. They were joined in. They were, uh, they were, they were championed. They were cheerleaded for. But Holy Spirit is the one who sends us and calls us. And so we all have that in our lives, a calling from Holy Spirit. And they went down to the seaport of Seleucia and then sailed for the island of Cyprus. And there in the town of Salamis, they went to the Jewish synagogues and preached the word of God. And John Mark went with them as their assistant. Now, John Mark and his relationship with Paul and, and Barnabas are going to come back up later, but we see him sort of introduced here. And afterward, they traveled from town to town across the entire island until they reached uh, Pe uh, Paphos, where they met a Jewish sorcerer, a false prophet named Bar Jesus. And he had attached himself to the governor, Sergius Paulus, who was an intelligent man. And so there's this kind of uh, you know, we got to follow the, the sort of the plots here, and there's a lot of people being introduced to us. And uh, the governor invited Barnabas and Saul to visit him, for he wanted to hear the word of God. And so, we always got to be open and willing to people inviting us in to share the gospel with them. And that's they went into this area to share the gospel, and all of a sudden they're by them. But Alamus the sorcerer, as his name means in Greek, so this man Bar Jesus. Uh, or Elamus, uh, interfered and urged the governor to pay no attention to what Barnabas and Saul said. He was trying to keep the governor from believing, and so he had an agenda, this sorcerer did. He, the, everybody, uh, what is the saying? You know, God loves you and has a plan for your life. Well, God loves you and everybody else has a plan for your life too. And this sorcerer um, had a vested interest in the governor continuing to look to him for his spiritual guidance, look to him for his wisdom. And so he didn't want them to hear from these people. Saul, also known as Paul, was filled with Holy Spirit and he looked the sorcerer in the eye. And then he said, you son of the devil, full of every sort of deceit and fraud and enemy of all that is good. Will you never stop perverting the true ways of the Lord? And so Paul is speaking to the deeper issue the deeper thing going on here than just the source from the house i remember we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but we wrestle against principalities of darkness and so he's speaking into this principalities of darkness 
Um, and he says, watch now for the Lord has laid his hand of punishment upon you and you will be struck blind. You will not see the sunlight for some time. Instantly mist and darkness came over the man's eyes and he began groping around begging for someone to take his hand and lead him. When the governor saw what had happened, he became a believer for he was astonished at the teaching about the Lord. And so Paul says, look, God is going to intercede in this and you're not going to be able to have your way anymore with this man because God has a plan for the governor's life. And I, I thought about that, that whole story though. Remember, so Paul prays and says, you won't see, but remember what happened to Paul when he met Jesus. He was blinded for some time. Paul says, you won't be able to see for some time. Th th this was not anything that hadn't happened to Paul. Uh, Paul had walked this same journey. Paul had been through this before. Paul had had the 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 presence of the lord changed him but also the the presence of the lord had blinded him for some seasons so that he could only see what he needed so in some ways this was an opportunity for this uh bar jesus or his as his greek name was uh elimus or elimus to find a different type of site and so it shows us that god is always working in people's lives this is the meanwhile so Paul and Barnabas go to preach and they've got, uh, they've got a gospel to preach, a good news to preach. They are wanting to preach this gospel to the governor, but also to the people. And they're called and commissioned by the leaders. And at the same time, God is doing a work in this sorcerer's life. Now, we don't get the whole story. We don't get to find out what happens right yet. And uh, we don't oftentimes get to know the story that happens for a lot of people's lives. And so it just reminds us that God's work in his life. He, he blinds him. And we see that the governor comes to know him. But what about the sorcerer? Um, and there are times where we will plant seeds, where we'll be part of the watering. Um, but we won't get to see the result. We won't get to see the fruit. And uh, we might not even know till we spend time in heaven what happened to this man. And God may be working through you in people's lives. And you won't get to see the result of it. Or he may have you be the second stage or the third stage. And... But God is always and continuously working in people's lives. The gospel, the good news is always and continuously going out. And there are meanwhiles happening. Even while God is working on you, meanwhiles are happening in other people's lives as well. So let's pray that we would always be open to being an instrument of God, to be able to deliver his message, to call evil evil when we see it, and to allow God to work through us and in us so that he can move in people's lives. And so let's ask God that he would allow us to do that. God, would you allow us to be used by you to speak on your behalf? Um, God, would you allow us to uh, be instruments in your hands to see what is evil and call evil evil and to, to be a source and a light of good in this world? Uh, God, let us learn from this that you are always offering good news, gospel to everyone. And that, God, we would help them to find you. And so we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, we'll join here again tomorrow, Thursday, every Monday through Thursday. We will study the Bible. We'll pick up in uh, verse 13 of chapter 13 tomorrow. If you want to just read ahead and see what we're going to be studying, we'll study that. Uh, can't wait to be with you again. And I'll see you then. Hope you have a great rest of your day.